Gamecocks men's basketball added to its coaching staff in the offseason. We had Hampton alum Brian Steele joining Frank Martin and company and is already turning some heads as an up-and-coming star in the coaching world. Our sports director Aaron Teslock tells us more. It's been quite the decade for Brian Steele. The former Gamecocks big man now makes a big difference for USC's coaching staff. The former upstate standout says he's exactly where he's supposed to be at the outset of his second career in basketball. Just over a decade ago. This is Brian Steele. That's a tough shot. With a Brian Steele's riding high, helping push Wade Hampton to a state championship. Soon after, he heads to Columbia to play for Frank Martin's Gamecocks. You know, I want to kind of an urban setting. You know, I wanted to be in a city somewhere pretty vibrant. And then, um, you know, just really the opportunity to play for Frank. You know, I knew I needed a challenge. Steele calls the decision one of the best in his life. Daily battles against guys like Sin Thornwell, Michael Carrera. After a great sophomore year comes adversity. First day of workouts is junior season. A pop meniscus. After months of rehab, pops it again. Steele with three meniscus injuries in a five-month span, all in the same knee. From then, it was just like I really had no cushioning in my knee. Steele's playing days, done. For someone who identified as a basketball player his whole life, it's a reality tough to come to terms with. Steele leans on Frank Martin more than ever. The days you can tell I'm really down, man. He would grab me. He would talk to me. He would build me up. And, um, you know, he was the one who really set my sights on coaching. Steele stays on as a student assistant, just in time for the 2017 Final Four run. Then takes his first assistant coaching job at Queens University in Charlotte. More success follows. Soon after, a chance to come back to Columbia, just as the pandemic hits. It was right in the heart of COVID, and Queens had made the decision not to bring their students back to campus. This was in, like, August, and all our athletes in South Carolina were already reported to campus. Steele comes back home to the Palmetto State. A year later, he's promoted to assistant coach. The goal's the same as a decade ago win basketball games at USC. The Wade Hampton alum's been through quite a bit with Frank Martin, but the relationship, completely different. In the office, he is just always cracking jokes on somebody, but he's not the guy that you can't crack jokes on back. As a player, you know, he's probably gonna be a little more direct. He's coaching, you know? I guess that's the difference. Like, you're more interacting with staff. He's so deliberate and intentional and structured uh, with everything he does, and, and that's what makes him an, an unbelievable coach. So it's been it's been different, but it's been a lot of fun too. Steele adds Daryl Nance, who coached him at Wade Hampton, Bart Lundy at Queens, really helped him see the game differently. And by most accounts, Steele's caught the eye of many. Could very well see him running his own program down the line. If you'd like more details on Steele's journey, our full interview online right now at foxcarolina.com. I'm Aaron Cheslock for Fox Carolina Sports.